All right. Whoops. Learn more. We don't need to learn more right now. Anyways, I just posted a video on our little Kansas guide service that we've started and we're getting running this year. Which Cody, our buddy that we're partnered with up there, has been doing these guided hunts for years. So, it's not new to him. Now we're just partnering with him. Dad's going to build a little camp thing up there. All that stuff. I explained most of that in my video that I just posted. And every year, we've hunted up there, like I said, for the past three years. I always apply for a tag. And every year, the application goes out at the end of April. And I had thought <laughs> that it was going to be the same for this. And I, when we applied, I thought it said the end of April on that too. But I was wrong. The applications ended April 24th. And I'm so sorry that I gave y'all the wrong information on that. I should have looked it up and done more research. We're thinking that um, due to coronavirus, COVID-19, that they moved the date up. Because they also suspended any non-resident turkey tags. Unless you're a landowner, you can still get landowner tags. But we're assuming that's the reason. And I'm sorry, y'all. Because the main reason I made that video for y'all was so that y'all would have time to apply for a Kansas tag if you wanted to come hunt with us. But not the case. I'm sorry. But instead of deleting the video i'm gonna leave it up because y'all can still come next year and go ahead and book your hunts now or you can come turkey hunt with us you can still apply or you can still reserve that for next year next season or you can come doe hunt if you want to kill some does and put them in your freezer you can still get doe tags and kansas deer taste amazing i will tell y'all out that illegal outdoorsman how's it going it's going good i just got to get my information on this kansas stuff right i'm so sorry mike and seeing from tds how are y'all doing mike how do you pronounce that s-v-e-n i may sound dumb and if i do i'm sorry but mike and sven from tds i think Hope y'all are doing good. Let me scroll down here. Looking at my comments. Do you hunt hickory chickens? What is a hickory chicken? Is that a turkey? We do hunt turkeys. Oh, and another thing is I tried to do a live on my turkey I got the other day, but my service was awful. And it was actually a turkey that killed on my land it was an amazing hunt and my biggest turkey had three beards one was ten and a half one was eight and the other one was six and a quarter he was 25 pounds and had inch and a quarter spurs he was a big turkey and i tried to do a live video of that but my service was awful and it kept trying to upload and Finally, I just canceled the upload and when I did that it deleted the whole video. So I'm sorry Didn't mean to do that didn't mean to delete the whole video, but oh well and Some of y'all are asking why the hog video of no ears is not up anymore and that's because YouTube censored it and demonetized it and Yeah, so that's why that one's gone. I'm gonna try to Watch the video again and see what was so bad about it that it got censored because I didn't see anything wrong with it. And try to get it put it back up. Somebody said, when are you getting married? I'm not getting married. I'm not engaged or anything. Somebody said, a hickory chicken is a mushroom. Oh. Well, we did look for morel mushrooms when I was in Kansas last, but that's the only mushrooms I've ever looked for. And we fried them, and they tasted so good. Mm. Thank you, mermaid devil. Let me see. I'm trying to read y'all's comments. Do you ever hunt airheads? Yes, we do. We actually used to do it all the time. We've got one spot back here by one of our ponds that we can always walk around in um, and find. We found so many airheads there. 
we've disc and then when it rains you can usually find some so yeah we do hunt airheads right here i've got a little celtex that an old man gave me as a present he was real nice and i, I love this stuff i love finding airheads and shark teeth because we can find shark teeth in some of our rivers down here. Will you be will you be doing an unboxing video of your GoPro, GoPro and tripod? You know, that's a really good idea. I probably will. Oh, morels and hickory chickens are the same. Thank you. Then, yes, I did hunt them. And I made a video that I need to put together and post at some time, at some point. I'm not really good at finding them, though, I'll be honest with you. Mm. Do you ever date airheads? I feel like a bunch of my exes are airheads. But, yeah. How can you tell if a mushroom is poisonous? You probably don't want to ask me that because I don't know. I've never hunted mushrooms except one time for the morels in Kansas. We actually don't have them here in Alabama, South Alabama that I've seen. Where in America is your accent from? South Alabama. Southern accent. Get made fun of a lot for my accent. I've also been told that I have a deep voice and sound like a man. But, I'm not worried about it. I can't change my accent. I don't really want to change it anyways. Mmm. Do you ever catch poison ivy? My dad does. Most people I know do, but I personally have never had it. I don't know how. Let me knock on wood. My wood countertop here because I don't want to jinx myself and get it. I've been all around it. I've touched it and so far I hadn't been allergic to it. Like I said, knock on wood because I don't ever want it. It looks horrible. Joel, I like the way you talk. Thank you. And also, I still have not brushed my hair this morning because all I've been working on is YouTube stuff. It took me way longer than it should have to edit that video and my stuff wasn't even right. Plus, I posted one on Dad's channel. Y'all ain't subscribed to it. Y'all go look at it. It was the video of him working on the sawmill this morning. Now, I'm trying to upload pictures from my phone. Pictures and videos from my phone to my computer because my phone is full. And making it where i can't save all my videos so i'm trying to upload them to my computer and it takes forever and technology hates me but i'm trying thank you oh shoot didn't mean to do that Let's see i'm trying to keep up with y'all mm. how can i get info on buying dad's yellow pine table that is a good question. Where are you located? Because we would have to figure out shipping and all that. You can email me at hannahbarronoutdoors at gmail.com if you want info on that. Fishing Scott said, Hannah, go make a Vimeo channel. Won't get taken. I do need to look into that and other things because I want to post videos on how we clean and process a lot of our animals because I know there's a lot of y'all out there that ask for that. And, you know, like how to clean a turtle. I didn't know how to clean a turtle until, you know, we did the other day. Um, <clears throat> we hadn't done that since I was little and I was too little to learn at the time. So, I learned the other day, and I actually made videos on it, but I know I can't post it on YouTube because it'll get taken down. Mm. Why don't you find someone in your area to do editing for you? I really need to. I really need to. <laughs> actually, what I used to edit is iMovie, which is the little free app that comes on iPhones and stuff. And I do it all on my phone. I need to start doing it on my computer and all. I'm trying to learn though. Kevin, I know why you love Kansas. I love Kansas. It is beautiful and it has huge deer. Killed my biggest deer there that's at the taxidermist right now. I'm waiting on it to come back. Just drawn and keep it up. Screw what people think. 
thank you so much. I agree. Or as far as the, you know, don't listen to what people think. I sure do appreciate it, y'all. Illegal Outdoors when your videos are great. Keep it up. Thank you. The name cracks me up. Colin Davis, have you hunted Oklahoma yet? I have. I actually killed a turkey in Oklahoma last year. Jesse Meek from Kansas with love. Thank you. We're our, our piece. We actually own some land in Kansas and we're looking to sell it and get a different piece to build our little camp house on. And um, that is in Bourbon County, Kansas. So if y'all happen to apply for a tag or if you live in Kansas and you want to come hunt with us, then email Cody Cutler G2 at gmail.com and come hunt with us. But I am sorry that I put the wrong information on there. Um, let me see. Hello from Montgomery, Montgomery, Alabama. It's a good state. Mm. Why did you take down a video you posted? I think I explained that earlier in this live on YouTube censoring my videos. And then accidentally canceling the upload on that live one because I didn't have any service and it wouldn't go. Will it be a high fence hunt? No. Everything we do is open range. We don't do any high fence hunting. Hello from England. Sujin Ra, that's awesome. What is the weather like over there in England? Mm. Missouri for the wind. We actually leased land in Missouri last year. What town in Kansas are the guided hunts close to? Fort Scott in Bourbon County, Kansas. George says, what's up from Colorado? Do you have any merch? I don't yet. That is some stuff coming in the near future, though, that I'm going to try to get together for y'all. So stay tuned. Dun -dun -dun. I'm trying to keep up. High from the Isle of Wight, England. That's so cool. I love how so many of y'all are from all over the world. It blows my mind. Where in New Zealand did you hunt? Did we hunt tar? Yes, we actually hunted on the North and South Islands with Wanganui Safaris. New Zealand was one of the most amazing, beautiful places I've ever seen in my life. Um... <clears throat> We hunted tar, stag, chamois. I killed a sheep. We're waiting to get all that back from the taxidermist now, but that was amazing. We visited Queenstown. We went all over. Do you still have that black truck that we were selling? No, we actually sold both of those the other day, but we do have some furniture. We're trying to figure out how he can build furniture and ship it because so many of y'all are from all over the world. And we don't really know how we can ship stuff that far. Mm. And looking at me in this video, I can see how fuzzy my hair is since I have not brushed it this morning. And I'm sorry, I've got to get better about trying to look decent for these live videos. Mark Rollins. Cute little pair, dude. Oh, I'm trying to keep up with y'all. But I'm going to try to... I have told myself during this quarantine I was going to make more YouTube videos. And that even after it was over, I was going to try to keep it up. So I'm going to try my best to get more out there to y'all. But I hope I don't bore y'all with some of this. Because I know some of the videos may not be as interesting as others. But noodling is coming that is what's coming next we'll be doing that in the next few weeks that's what i got the gopro for and i'll be making some of those videos for y'all and i've got one of me catching my biggest fish last year that was 67 pounds that i'm going to be posting this week so if y'all want to see it please check it out because that is my biggest fish that i'm so proud of do i need a visa to hunt in the u.s from england I do not know. I know when we hunted in um, 
New Zealand, we had to get a passport and stuff. I'm not exactly sure what you need to come hunt here from out of the country. I can try to find that out, though. And I will. Because so many of y'all are from places like that. So, that'll be what I work on next. Um, come hunt and fish in Wisconsin. I want to. It's kind of my bucket list to try to go all over the world to visit and hunt or do whatever. Because I want to see the world. Give a holler from Georgia. Hey, I visit Georgia a lot. Cold here in Alabama this morning. It is. This cold is not helping our catfish either. We need the water to warm up so they can bed and we can get in the water because it's going to be cold. Jesse, born and raised in McPherson County, Kansas. Been hunting deer with a pistol for 27 years. That's awesome. Y'all do have some amazing country over there in Kansas. It's my favorite state to whitetail hunt, period. That's why we bought land over there. And we started this whole deal. Hello from Mississippi. Drive through Mississippi going to our land in Kansas. Yep, I'm trying to read y'all off. <laughs> George, when am I getting married? Please merch with appreciate y'all. That is what we're working on. And again, I'm not getting married, not engaged or anything. I probably need to make a, make a video explaining all that, but I will eventually. So, um, somebody said, do you drink occasionally like wine or beer? I don't really drink, but I will drink a glass of my granddad's homemade wine at night when I can't sleep because that knocks me out and makes me sleep. I don't really like beer so much. Have you ever seen a piebald deer? Yes, I have. They're beautiful. Mm. Is there are a lot of tornadoes in Kansas. Probably not as many as there is in Alabama. I hear somebody driving by outside with a trailer. Mm. What in the world do y'all even want to see videos of? Because I don't want to bore y'all. But I also don't want to go a month without posting because we're not doing anything that I think is, you know, that interesting. Like is, so Lisa Payne says daily life. So this, this kind of stuff is okay with y'all? I hope so. Mm. tour of my house it is a mess right now but <laughs> that's my upstairs my bed um let me see if i can turn the camera that's where i'm my vitamin c and i'm uploading my pictures see my phone's still hooked up so i can't move it much i've got my elderberry vitamins a jug of my granddaddy's homemade wine i was talking about black rifle coffee cup my door's open yeah not much to it. Let me see. Do you, Brent, do you offer paid hunts with you and your dad? Yes, those hunts in Kansas. We will try to be there for most of it, but we do have some trips planned throughout that time, so we just have to work together on the dates. So for the ones who want to be there while me and dad are there, for sure. And it's hunting, so there's no guarantees that you'll kill anything because that's part of hunting. It's not high fence. We can't guarantee anything. Chadwick Luther, Kansas loves you too. I sure hope so. Because <laughs> right now I'm owing a lot of money on paying for that land. But I'm proud we did because it's, it's a beautiful place. <laughs> Lisa, I would love to see workout videos. This mama needs motivation. I, have, I need to do that. I've got a... Instagram page, Hannah Barron Fitness, that I've posted stuff on. And I really do need to make some workout videos. And I need to get back on working out instead of sitting around here working on YouTube stuff all morning in my pajamas. But I'm going to let y'all go. Hope y'all have a great day today, a great week. And I'll be doing more of these. So I hope y'all don't get 
bored or tired of me. <laughs> Appreciate y'all.